Hi, I am Basim Wallem, District 8 Director. District 8 encompasses both Riverside and San Bernardino County. Today I'm glad to discuss and talk about a project called the Bay County Project. Bay County because it links both Riverside and San Bernardino County. As a matter of fact, this project is funded by both Riverside and San Bernardino County. It's a great collaborative effort between Riverside, San Bernardino County, Caltrans, FHWA, and BNSF. We are fortunate to have the contractor, Ames Construction, and Ames has used two subgroups or subcontractors. One is the Stinger Group, which actually fabricated the steel truss that we will be discussing, and the other group called the Serens Group, who transported this massive steel structure. What this job encompasses was actually delivering six steel trusses, each one about 1.1 million pounds in weight, 30 feet in high and 23 feet in width. 200 feet long span bridge. This is a much needed project. The reason it is important in this region because it connects all the HOV systems from the 210 freeway all the way to the 605. So it's a missing link for the HOV system that we are actually delivering it with this project. The reason that this is a great project is that it's a quite an innovative project because we fabricated the system of site close by in a farm and then we transported by doing that, we have reduced quite a bit of lane closures and made this thing really easier on the traveling public. To prepare this uh, on the bridge move, Caltrans coordinated with Sandback, uh, RCTC, CHP, uh, local PD and the county sheriff department, uh, plus the contractor, uh, Southern California Edison. So everybody uh, come together and we had a game plan and we executed very well for this project. What we've currently been doing with these truss bridges it's been a phenomenal achievement in, in planning, execution, admin, logistics, and just overall partnership with Caltrans. Obviously, there's a three-headed part. We have a Wednesday operation where we move these trusses. We've got a Thursday part where we kind of lift them and check the lifting capabilities and all the logistics. And then we have a Friday part that we're leading into tonight. As we continue this project, we're going to continue building our relationship with the owner. Obviously, they're going to see our work performance. We've been uh, very fortunate to receive a few awards thus far on this project that we're very proud of at Ames and we want to continue uh, reaching those goals. My name is Justin Murphy. I'm a uh, general manager for Stinger Bridge and Iron. We're the uh, fabricator and erector on the project. Uh, we've got six of these railroad truss structures to uh, fabricate and erect. Accelerated bridge delivery process here where we actually assemble the bridges complete off-site and then move them into place in a uh, limited closure, um, really reducing the impact to the traveling public and our interface with uh, the motoring traffic. We've contracted with the Sarens Group. Uh, they're the same company that moved the Space Shuttle Endeavor a few years back. And we're actually utilizing the very same pieces of equipment that were utilized on that project to move these structures. We're utilizing the SPMTs to actually move the structures out in the, into the freeway and up approximately half a mile down to the erection site where we position them, stage them in place, raise them with a gantry system, uh, place uh, about a 12 foot shoring tower between the bridge and the SPMT to be able to get the bridge up to uh, close to the final set elevation and then the final stage is a uh, one night closure where we actually spin the bridge out into the freeway and set it in place and then lower the SPMTs and essentially erect the entire structure in one night.
conclusion, I really would like to put a plug in for District 8. We are doing quite a bit of work here, and we're working collaboratively with our regional partners, Sandbag, RCTC, FHWA, and working together with our staff and our consultants. We are putting forth and delivering a lot of projects in this region. Within a two-mile radius, you'll be amazed to see the type of work and amount of work that is ongoing in this area. And we are using innovative technologies to deliver projects faster, such as employing the design-build method of, of construction, using it on the 91 CIP, on the Devor and Cajon. In the near future, we will be also using the CMGC method to deliver two other projects in this area. I am very proud of the partnership and the efforts that we have put forth here in this region, and I look forward to the continued success of this region. Thank you very much.